Alright, so when talking about how to edit or make videos for YouTube, there are certain good common tips that are good to follow in order to make your video editing process much smoother. So let's get right into that. Now you may hear some pretty common tips in this video, but there's also other tips that may be useful in the long run for your video editing workflow. Now if you're editing a video right now, just open this video in a tab because I'm just going to be talking and giving out some tips. So the first tip that I want to start with when editing a video is to make sure you come up with a system. And what I mean about this is to have a system, have your own style of workflow from the beginning to the end of a video making process. This includes planning out your video, planning out all your footage and all the edits that you're going to be making during your editing and the last production production step which is watching your video and making some revisions. Now everybody's workflow is different. I have my own workflow apart from different other people who edit videos. And workflow is really important in order to maintain efficiency. So this could come as simple as to make sure that you guys know some keyboard shortcuts to make editing a little bit easier and having an overall system that will help you make sure you have the most efficiency. Now I am going to talk about different aspects of this tab in this whole video. So let's get into tip number two. Alright so be organized. Is as simple as that. Everyone has their own different types of organization when it comes to video editing and that's totally fine as long as it can help you maintain efficiency when you're editing. Some examples I can think of is when I rename files such as my audio files. I always put a different number beside each audio file to make sure I can see the correct order and placement when I'm editing videos. Another good example is when you open your video editing program. I know some of the clips can be organized by color and by track so if you have multiple video tracks open each of them are organized by color. Now you may have your own organization style but it's it's really important to name and organize each file where it belongs and it can really help you drive your efficiency much more better when editing a video. So be organized and if you're not organized we'll come up with a system that works for you and if you already found one we'll keep doing what you're doing. So this next tip is really important and I hope you guys actually have the time to invest in this tip because in the long run it will help you guys a lot. Get to know your software. It's really important when we're using tools such as video editing programs especially if we're just learning. Now it does take some time to invest and really learn the ins and outs of your video editing software but by the time you do you'll be basically know how to edit a basic video and over time you'll be acquiring new skills that will help you edit videos more efficiently and easier at first they will require some tutorials some time playing around with the video editing program but in the long run it will be very beneficial so get to know your software get to know the ins and outs get to know keyboard shortcuts that will help you edit faster and get to know all the presets that you guys might apply when you're adding video effects such as transitions graphics and other sorts of presets that you guys can make right out of the bat when you're getting to know your video editing program software. So get to know your software. It will be really beneficial in the long run. So this next tip may have different interpretation depending on what kind of content you do and it's having a vision. Simply have a vision of the video that you're trying to create in your mind and put it to action. Sometimes we think of really good video ideas but it's really hard to come up with a vision in how to form that video. Well this process happens during video editing. Video editing allows you to take all your recordings, all your clips, all your footage and put them into one working shop tool which you can formulate and form the vision that you have to make this video. You're basically shaping your video to give it a final form. So in video editing it's really important to have a vision of how you want your video to turn out. There's been many times where I have a really good video idea and I just rush into it but when it comes to editing that video I am completely lost because I didn't have a vision and it will take me much more time to go through the motions and just pick what works. But now instead I have a vision of how I want this video to play out so when it gets time to editing the video you will have a basic outline of how you want your video to end up looking like. Alright, so for this last tip, it's an easy one, pretty simple, and it doesn't really take that much work, but I know a lot of people struggle with it, and that's just back away. Take a break when you need it. I know a lot of people, including myself, that we've been just so invested into editing the video and just adding some more effects to it, just trying to make it better, but at the end of the day, we're tired and we're exhausted at looking at the screen all day. So it's really important to take your well-being first and just take a break, back away, and just do the simple things that you enjoy, making sure you set priorities. Maybe you have a deadline for a video, but it's really important to help to making sure that you're okay first and the video can come later. Now, I know that people like to work on their videos trying to make it perfect, but if you're tired and you're editing a video, sometimes that can mess up with your judgment. So take a break, do what you have to do in order to get re-energized, just enjoy your time off, and then you can come back to video editing with a fresh look of what is going on in your edit as you move along. So it's okay to take a break, it's okay to step away from the computer and just enjoy 
enjoy the little things. And who knows, maybe you'll get new ideas that will probably help you make that video a little bit better at the end of the day. So I know that this was a kind of a different video for today, but I think it was really important to talk about and it was kind of an opportunity to share of my experience when editing or making videos at all. So I hope you guys appreciate this kind of video. I really had fun making it and hopefully I can make some more types of videos like these. But if you are starting with video editing and don't know which is the right video editing program for you, I got you covered. I got a full on playlist of a series of reviewing editors where I go through different types of video editing programs just for you guys. So if you're looking for that special one, there's a pretty good chance that I already reviewed it. But if you guys got any more suggestions, let me know down in the comments. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.